Hey everyone and welcome back to the channel. If you're looking to install macOS on your Intel or MD PC, yes, even MD in 2025, then you know the most critical part is getting your UEFI folder right. Traditionally, this has been a complex, often frustrating process. But what if I told you there is a tool that can simplify this dramatically, making it accessible for beginners? Today, we're diving into Open Core Simplify, a fantastic utility that will help you to create a perfect UEFI for your Intel or AMD Hackintosh, step by step in 2025. So let's get started. First, a quick premiere for those new to this. What exactly is an EFI and why it's so vital for Hackintosh? EFI, extensible firmware interface, is like the bootloader for your computer. It's the first thing your PC will Rares to know how to store an operating system. For a Hackintosh, your UFI needs a special pile that tricks macOS into thinking it's running on a real Apple machine. This includes drivers, patches, ACPI, and configuration files. A properly configured EFI means a stable, smooth running macOS installation with features like Wi Fi, audio, and graphics working correctly. A bad EFI and your Hackintosh won't even boot. Now, traditionally, you would spend hours reading guides, manually adding text, and editing configured playlist files. It's a steep learning curve. But thanks to tools like Open Core Simplify, that's changing. Open Core Simplify is a user friendly application designed to automate much of the UEFI creation process, particularly for Open Core Bootloader. It patches the correct Open Core packages, recommended cakes, drivers, and generates the basic config.playlist playlist tailored to your system. While it simplifies, remember, it's not a magic bullet. You will still need to understand your hardware. Before you jump into the step, let's make sure you have a good internet connection you need. Now, firstly, Open your browser, search for OP Core GitHub, and here you'll find OP Core Simplify. Open it, click on this top down, click on Download app. Now it's downloaded. Now you can search for Hardware Sniffer, and here you'll find Hardware Sniffer link. Open it, click on the latest, scroll a little bit, and here you'll find Hardware Sniffer EXE. Open it, and download and install it. Now click on this three dots, click on the cap, click on Show More. So like keep anyway. Now it's done. Minimize this. Now open this PC. Go to download, and here you'll find hardware sniffer. Double tap on it. Now it will generate your hardware report. Now you will have to type H to export your hardware report. Type H and here on the any key. Now it's exported on the results folder, and now you will have to do one thing. That is dump your SCPI table. Type A, and here on the any key. Now it's done. Now it's done. Now open the zip file. Select this folder and drag and drop it to the desktop. Close it. And now again go to this PC and go to download. He'll find SCP dump and the result folder. Now open this folder, OP Core, and he'll find Open Core Simplified. Double tap on it. Select more info and click on run anyway. Close it. Now you can skip this process, click on the Y, hit on the N key. Now type 1 and hit on the N key. Now go to the results folder here and select it, copy the report and come to here. Right click on here and it's done. Hit on the N key. Now hit on the N key to continue. Now you'll have to select your macOS version. If you choose macOS Sierra, then you will have to type 17. And if you want to install macOS Sequoia 15, then you will have to type 24. I'm typing 24. Hit on the N key. Now it's asking to drag and drop SCPI table folder here. Now here you can see the SCPI folder selected and copied. Now just will right click on here and it's done. Hit on the N key. Now you can see it's done. Now type 4. Hit on the N key. Now, on the basis of your need on hardware report, you can customize them, but I'm doing nothing. Type B to go back and type Q to quiet. I'm typing B and hitting on the other key. Now I'm back. Now, if you want to customize your SM BIOS, but by default, this application will choose a perfect SM BIOS for you. I'm typing pipe and hitting on the other key. Now you can see a perfect SM BIOS is selected for me. That is iMac 20 comma 1. I'm not just doing anything here. Type in B. Hit on the N key. Now the final step. Build in the EFI. Type in 6. Hit on the N key. The system is automatically performing the EFI generation process. Now it's asking to choose your different layout. 
now I'm choosing 21 by default it will choose 21 because the 21 is selected automatically and it's showing a screen that means you'll have to choose this okay I'm typing 21 and here on the any key now you can see it's completed and the EFI is here congratulations you have done successfully completed your EFI now you can install macOS Sequoia 15 on your machine and there you have it creating a proper EFI for Intel or AMD Hackintosh in 2025 has been made significantly easier thanks to tool like open core simplify while a seamless process Remember that understanding your hardware and consulting resources like Dotony Open Core Guide or Seal Key to Success and Stable Hackintosh. If this guide helped you, please give it a big thumbs up, share it with your Hackintosh curious friends, and subscribe for more tech tutorials. Let me know in the comments below what system you're building. And if you have any questions, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.